Good morning. Uh, USA, not Vietnam. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Dark Odin? <laughs> it is 6.53 a.m. What's the a.m. stand for? Oh, my God, it's early. <laughs> so, classic. Yeah, yes, I'm uh, referencing the yield classic film there. Uh, let me just grab this bloop and a bloop and a bloop. And a bloop. So we're here. Hopefully, hopefully you guys can. Uh, uh, morning from Canada. How is it up there in Canadian land? Okay, this is live. Got that going. All right. I think Indie World's first, which is weird because it's on the right, but whatever. Um, I know that drives some OCD people nuts. It drives me nuts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have to have it. <laughs> so, um, I think. I honestly think the indie world might be the better part, the better half of this. It's a big sense because I'm like, I don't know what anyone's gonna do for 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 Switch from like the big companies at this point. It's like, what what are you gonna have? Some really really late ports, some really like you know choppy versions. Oh holy shit! Yeah, Poke Cabal give two subs to Sega Black Ops and Itzawa. Itzawa. Um. Just so they might announce Silk Song 2. Right, they're going to announce, yes. Um, there's a sleeping potato with us. Mm -hmm. I know you guys can't see it. She looked at me when I said that. Yeah. She's like, she knows I called her a potato. Um, do, you want, do you want to show the... Yeah, we can. I can't move my arm. No, I know. We got to sleep. Sleepy potato. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she, she very much likes to take over... Um, she very much likes to take over laps. What's up, Maximum Dudley? Great name. 45 months. Goddamn, I should probably fix that a little bit. Good morning from Texas. Oh, man. <laughs> well, at least your power is working. <laughs> Do we know for sure if it's going to be like 20 minutes each? No. Oh, okay. We don't. We oh, actually, okay. <laughs> we, we actually don't know what the breakup's going to be. It literally could be uh, 30, indie mi 30 yeah. minutes of indies, 10 of... of 35 and just 5. 5. <laughs> it, it, could, it could be. It could, it could very well be that way. <laughs> so we're 5 minutes out. What's up, Robocop dude? Are you at work? Wait a minute. What day is this? Yeah, you're, are you at work? <laughs> we do have a bingo, actually. Um, let me see if it's still good. Um, let me see if the bingo still works. No. <laughs> Not really. Um. <sighs> hold on. Oh, I see. What the, I see what the problem is. It's a little too blown up. And maybe it works now? No, that's the wrong thing. Oh, I deleted it. <laughs> right, hold on. Nice. Uh, yeah, that's our bingo. It's a nice, colorful bingo. Kind of, kind of cropped a little too much there. Um, Bluetooth headset clutch at work. Nice. Yeah. Uh, we got obviously we got our hopefuls in the corners. Soul Calibur two coming back. Yeah, I'd love that. Sega Saturn on Nintendo Switch Online. Twin Snakes coming back. Would love all that. I don't want Xenoblade Wars. I really, really don't want a Xenoblade Wars. I do not want to have to play through that game. The strangest one to me is that there's, apparently there's some sort of Call of Duty game being announced for Switch. And I'm like, why? <laughs> what? So I would love a Tiny Toons collection. It's not going to happen. Um, is today the day we get a bingo? Probably not. Uh, Power Rangers, Reader, we want. We do we want. Ooh, Kirby, Planet Robobot. I would like that. Yeah. I haven't played that one. Yeah, I mean, if they sneak that in, because people will be like, well, that's first party. I'm like, no, technically not, because HAL isn't actually owned by Nintendo. It, it would fall under a partner <laughs> showcase. It technically, very technically would. People don't know this. Nintendo doesn't own HAL. They don't own Intelligent Systems. They just kind of are like you know 
best buddies, friends, you know, they're, they're kind of one of those like friends with benefits mm. where it's just like they just sleep over at Nintendo's all the time. But only at Nintendo's. Yeah. But like Nintendo's too much of a too much of a hoe to, to go steady. <laughs> <laughs> and put a ring on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, this is really reaching. Uh, I don't fuck around with my with my bingos. You got to earn your bingos, okay? Like uh, some of these things are almost destined to show up, and then some of these are like no chance in hell. So if I'm getting a bingo. It's got to be a bingo worthy of a pop off. Uh, so, hence, hence the rationale reasoning. Like Silk Song. Yeah, Silk Song's on there. Silk Song's a little clown. <laughs> so, so, yeah, I don't know. I mean, okay, so as wait, far Wait, does that mean that it's not showing up or that it is showing it up? It is showing up. Oh, okay. It is. That's a bingo space if it shows up. Okay. I think of the shit on my bingo card, I think Metal Slug Tactics, Lego Horizon, I think Power Rangers will show up. Clock Tower, I think, will probably show up again. I think Plucky Squire, this game called Bakeru. Um, I think those are all... I think Ace Attorneys will be there. I think East 10 will be there. I think Marvel vs. Capcom is probably, you know, good chance it gets a release date mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, those are kind of like, yeah, those are probably going to show up. The rest of them I'm a little iffy on. Or like, ugh, you know, like Deca Police, whatever this Nico game is. 100 whatever the fuck. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> 100 Blind Defense Academy Dangle Grandpa game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, think, I think Shadow of the Ninja Reborn will probably be there too. Um, yeah. But, yeah, the rest of them are kind of like, yeah, probably not. But, hey, uh, Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver 1 and 2 Remastered, pretty decent chance of showing up there. And you're off. Oh, shit. Hello, everyone. We'll now present today's Indie World Showcase and Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase back to back. First back up, to back. here's the Indie World Showcase. Hmm. Whoa. Hi everyone, and welcome to Indie World. I'm Amber. And I'm Andrew. We're back with more indie games headed to the Nintendo Switch system. All right, it's time to lay our cards on the table. Sure thing. Wait, why is there a joker in my hand? Here's the deal. Black hole. Son, won't you come? Wiggles. Bala Balatro and Witcher Wild Hunt. These are things I'm, I'm, I've heard of. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I know some of the words on this page. <laughs> Vampire Lotro survivors. Vampire survivors. We know that. <laughs> I don't know what Bellatro is. I heard it's a card game. Obviously, it's a card game. There's someone in my chat who's like, "This is the best game of the year." I'm sure it is. That was pretty, dude. Dave the Diver. That that indie classic, Dave the Diver. So, is it like just a regular ass card game? Right, all I'm seeing are like regular cards. So, like, are we playing solitaire? <laughs> yeah, okay, so does it just use a regular card deck? In which case, sure, that is like the easiest crossover. You just make, you know, make a bunch of 16-bit crossover cards, I guess, I don't know. Bellatro, Friends of Jimbo. That's nice. Hola, som Nova d'Estudio, l'equip darrere de Gris i ara el Gris. pròxim joc Neva. El nostre joc és una història de maternitat on els jugadors assumeixen el rol de l'Alba. Començarà la seva aventura al costat d'una petita lloba anomenada Neva. Els capítols inicials del joc mostraran com l'Alba haurà d'encoratjar i protegir una jove Neva dels perills del seu món. Però al final del joc, una Neva més gran i ferotge es convertirà en la protectora de la seva figura materna, l'Alba. El equipo ha estado trabajando duro para mostrar una conmovedora perspectiva sobre cómo quienes nos protegen eventualmente necesitarán nuestro cariño y cuidados también. Estamos encantados de poder compartir las últimas novedades del juego y esperamos que os unáis a Alba y Neva en su aventura en Nintendo Switch. Neva. Mm. 
I heard Gris was very good, and I never played it. Oh, I thought you did. No, I don't Oh, you I just did. know of it? I know of it. I think I maybe downloaded it or looked at it on Xbox. I don't know. <laughs> I looked at it once. I think I looked at about it, it once. <laughs> I'm, uh, I, I do remember this game, though. This game looked dope. Never. It's never coming to Switch. Never. Get it? <laughs> never. Never. <laughs> Aww. Right, you play as this chick and you raise the wolf cub and then the wolf cub protects you. October 15th. Good. Never. I want it. Devolver <laughs> on that. Good on Devolver. Creep and crawl your way up the corporate ladder of a bizarre insect megacorp that's buzzing with mysteries. In this surreal RPG, you'll take on the role of Moth Cubit, an ordinary employee who's recently received a promotion. But this is no time to celebrate. Mm -hmm. The threat of a mysterious event known as the Final Process is looming. Can Moth and his fellow bugs save the company? Or even reality itself? Aww. As you <laughs> investigate cute. the cramped cubicles and creepy corridors of the corporation, you'll befriend bugs from all walks of life. Each with a story that's interwoven with moths. Not everyone will be friendly, though. Take on enemies in verbal showdowns with multiple dialogue choices and be sure to bring your fighting words. Your choices influence how the story progresses. There are multiple secrets, quests, and endings to unravel. So experiment and see what happens. Yeah, that was about as much I would draw. <laughs> Nintendo Switch next spring. Hey, guys. We're AJ and Dio from Tokyo Productions in Indonesia. We're part of Coffee Talk team, and with our much missed friend and the original creator, Fahmi, we created Coffee Talk and Coffee Talk episode two. Hey everyone, I'm Anna Winterstein, a game designer and a writer. I was the co writer of Coffee Talk Hibiscus and Butterfly alongside Junkie at Toge. Hi, I'm Kinta Okawa, a writer and uh, English to Japanese games translator. I had the privilege to work on the Japanese translations of both Coffee Talk games. Today, we are thrilled to announce that we are partnering with Corus to expand the Coffee Talk world. We've been hard at work over the last year to come up with a story pass. that retains the cozy elements Coffee Talk fans are fond of, but at the same time brings something new to the table. And now, we're very proud to announce an exciting new game for Coffee Talk fans. Coffee, Coffee Talk, Talk Tokyo! Tokyo. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, was that it? <laughs> it's one of those games. Yeah. See, I played the OG, which was Valhalla, which is pretty good. with these games they're visual novel they're lit it's 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 they're valhalla 2.0 al <laughs> they're they're the, the extension of that you gotta really really be into talking to people to enjoy them i am not really into it <laughs> hey it's your I dad <laughs> it's your dad <laughs> oh my god it looks like my dad and my dad was a weeb <laughs> let's check out some upcoming downloadable content that will take you to new and unexpected places <laughs> Hell yes. A miniature clockwork world in the Sea of Stars Throws of the Watchmaker DLC. Gear up for a journey full of oddities and wonders in which Valir and Zale will have to play by new rules to put a stop to a cursed carnival. Zale will transform into a skillful juggler, while Valir will dazzle as an acrobat. Together with new playable character Artie, They'll explore new areas and battle through dangerous dungeons Dang. in their quest to Artie's save the cool. world of Orange. Yeah. 
A malevolent spectacle awaits when this free DLC for Sea of Stars launches on Nintendo Switch next spring. Free? God damn. Savo, will you stop coming to my chat? Hey, okay? mm -hmm. get out of my swamp! Sorry, Amber. But just like onions, this swamp has layers of dirt that need to be blasted away. Yeah, this is uh, indie. Nothing fine. says indie like I'm fucking Shrek. I'm it anyway. A muddy good time awaits in the Shrek Special Pack paid DLC for Power Wash Simulator. Feel like an no. all star as you wash away the grime. <laughs> Nothing five says indie like Square Enix Shrek universe, and Shrek. Shrek's very own swamp and the Dragon's Lair. Don a shiny suit of armor with a new night themed character model and get your power washing game on when the Shrek Special Pack DLC makes a splash on the Nintendo Switch <laughs> system like this fall. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sam. And I'm Toby. Our team has been working on a new game called Morsels. You play as a mouse fighting against the forces of wicked cats, using magical cards to transform into a bunch of weird little monsters. It's a challenging roguelike set in a grungy, whimsical world. When I first pitched Morsels four years ago, it was a simple top-down shooter, which is a genre I love. Since then, with the help of Sam and our programmer Higgy, we've been able to turn it into something much cooler than I envisioned. I hope when people play Morsels, they enjoy the frenetic action, but are also charmed by the game's personality. Please enjoy the first ever trailer for our strange little game. Thank you. Hercula. So many indie devs are in love with their cats. I'm in love with Foxy. Yeah. Are we tweaking? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? <laughs> <laughs> that look like how I feel. That guy. <laughs> Evil pigeon. <laughs> There's definitely some interesting grungy artwork going on here. Jeez. <laughs> I'd play it. That is a weird ass looking game, but yeah, yeah, kind of interesting, honestly. Cat bus. Hey there. They say home is where the heart is. And that's especially true for this next game. That's right. Household objects, appliances, and even concepts turn into eligible love interests in Date Everything, a game in which you can, <laughs> date in everything. fact, date pretty much everything. With 100 dateable characters, there are plenty of unconventional. God, don't let Kenny see from. this trailer. He's gonna Fall cosplay that at Max's next stream. With Cabrizio the cabinet. The Become cabinet. Besties <laughs> with Shelly the shelf. Or come to despise Doug. Your uh, overwhelming sense of existential dread. Um, <laughs> Doug. I pass on Doug. Can I fall in love with a lamp? No way. Lux the lamp is all mine. But did you know that you could even date the game itself? Why don't I introduce you to Textbox Chan? Engage in flirtatious, oh branching dialogue with these fully voiced characters as you get to know them. Al, you can date your chat. <laughs> Al, did you write this? Perish the thought, swashbuckler. <laughs> as quick as my wit. Bring your best dating game because your choices could result not just in love, but also oh, in friendship. Oh, 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 or even cat. disdain. <laughs> <laughs> Find the object of your affection when Date Everything launches on mm. Nintendo Switch October 24th. Hi, I'm Sienna, the lead artist on Peglin. And I'm Dylan, the game designer of Peglin and the founder of Red Nexus Games. The two of us created the first version of Peglin at a game jam in 2019. I'm not sure I'm the down with the name of this game. And we wanted Peglin. to create something. We just Peglin. We just Peglin. We ended up creating the first version of Peglin's battle system. When the pandemic started, he looks like he enjoys Peglin, getting a little <laughs> Peglin. <laughs> we made cute places and enemies for our little dogs. <laughs> we then added two of our friends to help speed up development, and now four years later, 
We're a team of seven, and we're excited to bring Peglin to Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Peglin. <laughs> the dragons have been stealing your gold for as long you play as this. you can remember. This is literally Peglin. Peglin. It's it's literally Peglin. The heart of their lair and it's Peglin, eight bit. <laughs> with the power of pegs. In this roguelike pachinko-inspired RPG, you'll aim orbs and hit pegs. To <laughs> Peg, your yeah. Peg your homies. Peg your homies. The more pegs you hit, the more devastating the blow you'll deal to your enemies. Oh, I bet. Bounce your way to victory with a variety of. <laughs> I'm not sure orbs. you should be talking about Some blowing in a peg. <laughs> Others will pierce both pegs and enemies. I think you should get out of that out of the way before you start to pick. You every peg you hit. <laughs> The pegs themselves have some peculiar properties too. They can explode. I mean, okay. this is kind of cool, but Peggle didn't really have anything like this. Yeah, right? all jokes aside, it, it does kind of feel a little bit like, yeah, like they got tired combos. of waiting for Peggle 3. Relics will radically change We're like, game fine, too. we'll do something ourselves. Equip these rare passive power ups to prevent lethal damage. It definitely looks more involved. Just to name a few. Each run presents new what? opportunities for possible combinations. Teach Gem those dragons dragon. a lesson when Peglin bounces onto Nintendo Peglin. Switch as a timed console exclusive later today. Ooh, shadow drop. Peglin the Switch later today. <laughs> oh yeah, this is some, this is some indie looking <laughs> <Cow>. shit. <laughs> Get a jab. Buy a house. Complete missions impossible. <laughs> Wobbly life. Okay, follow my lead and watch out for the caterpillar. We're doing great so far. Oh no, it's like that penguin <laughs> game. There's a uh, <laughs> Let's try this again. Scoot, scoot. Jump. <gasps> Good thing yep, this is that together. penguin game. Well, Look, a key. Looks a lot Let's simpler. Hey, don't jump on my head. Let I'm me... going in. Oh. All right, let's slow it down. And jump. Got it. Yay! We make a great team. Now let's try it with eight players. Eight players? Oh boy! As you can see, cooperation is key in this puzzle platformer. Up to eight players need to work together to navigate levels full of ledges, cliffs, and other obstacles. Use strategic stacking, coordinated movement, and puzzle solving skills to find all the keys and reach every level's exit. There are more than 60 levels. <laughs> I would love Each to play this shit with Steve. No matter Steve. how many players you have on your side. Think it'll be a walk in the park? Think again. Even greater challenges await in dark mode, where your skills and your friendships will be put to the ultimate test. Get ready for oh, multiplayer yeah. mischief when Pico Park 2 jumps on Nintendo Switch Shadow Drop console exclusive later today. Dollar store chain together. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get enough indies? Here are some more titles headed to the Nintendo Switch system in the near future. He said near. Oh, well, someone actually said this, and I thought it was on the system already. Europa. Europa available October 11th. Ah. Demo available now. It has a release day. Finally. A new release day. Switch version doesn't look too bad. Was not expecting to get a release date for Europa. Yeah, because it, it was originally April. Yeah. And then and it got pushed to summer, summer. And now it's just going to be October. This game makes me uncomfortable. Jesus. Because the furry ass. Just the furry faces, too. It's just. Woof. Metal Slug Tactics available fall. Hey, that was on my bingo card. There you go, Al. You can finally shut up about the game. Hey, Fuck you. This, this was on my bingo card as well. Mm hmm. It does look really good, though. Yeah. Okay, that's all.
all for today's show. Hey, where'd you get that pizza? I found it in that tower over there. What tower? Pizza tower. Have you played this yet? No, I haven't. Oh. <laughs> Annoyed over here. This looks like old ass. This is like 90s Nick art. Wasn't on, no, this wasn't on anything but Steam. And I remember the devs at the time were saying, like, I don't, we don't have any plans to put it on any console. I guess someone talked them into Switch. <laughs> Later today. Shadow drop, damn. That's all for today's Indie World. We hope I mean, you enjoyed today's a pretty decent showcase. show. It was actually a pretty As decent always, showcase. A big thank you to our Al's real into text box chan. Making games for Nintendo Switch. <laughs> She's the Follow girl of his dream. <laughs> stay up to date on all things indie on the Nintendo Switch system. Stick around for more See if Stars got, and got a free DLC, Nintendo Europa got a release date. Never look good. Right Morsels look Until weird but good. Time. Pagel. Happy Pagelin. <laughs> Welcome to today's Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase. In this presentation, we'll be focusing on Nintendo Switch games launching in the second half of 2024 from our publishing and development partners. Okay, let's get into the headlines. These games are falling into place. It's Pikachu, I means Tetris. <laughs> Celebrate the 40th anniversary of Tetris with a compilation of historic games. Experience the 1988 Famicom version of Tetris. But what about the Tengen Tetris? Chain combos using explosions in Tetris 2 plus Bobless. Use special moves to win in Tetris Battle Guided. And more in this interactive Tetris. museum, including the games shown here. In addition, enjoy the brand new Tetris Time Warp, where you'll jump between gameplay styles from across the series. You can also watch new documentary clips about the history of Tetris and its key players. Tetris Forever drops neat. onto the Nintendo Switch system this year. Actually pretty Plus, neat. Plus, the NES version of Tetris is coming to Nintendo Switch Online this winter. Be on the lookout for a Tetris 99 Maximus Cup event, also coming this winter. Speed into the unknown. Journey to the galaxy's depths in this high-speed sci-fi adventure. After receiving a mysterious distress signal, you'll venture through a massive alien world to reunite with your beloved. Ride the stylish hoverboard to explore no! Uh-oh. No! No! Landscapes filled with all sorts of I'm making it look kind of cool. From scorching sands to wavy waters, each area will challenge your traversal skills. Along the way, you'll face <laughs> enemies in frenetic melee combat. By unlocking skills and combining different abilities, you can find more creative ways to overcome foes. <laughs> you can also customize the hoverboard to match your riding style, solve puzzles, and gather resources to boost its speed, steering, I like this. gravity, and more. 
Whether you're racing through terrain at high speeds or in the throes of combat, the hoverboard will be there to help you. Leave no stone unturned as you explore every corner of this vast planet. You never know what or who you'll find. Star Overdrive launches as a timed exclusive on Nintendo Switch Time next exclusive. year. Oof, I might wait for another version. Do whatever floats your goat. Welcome to the vast island of San Angora, where you'll take on the role of a goat. We're not kidding. In this sprawling sandbox adventure, Jesus you'll Christ. Quick and explode your running way so across well the island. Switch. Wreak havoc on anything and everything you find. Want to drive around town, join a yoga class, antagonize the locals? You can do all of that and more. Complete quests and gain karma to progress the story and unlock customization options. From fashionable nonsense like floral shirts and inflatable tubes to goat variants, including tall, angry, and even tasty goats. So buckle up and grab your fashion style by the horns. And you're not the only belligerent Billy around here. Unleash all sorts of bad mischief in two players. Funny when the indie games look more polished than the, <laughs> the direct you're games. Ready to hoof it because yeah. the digital version of Goat Simulator 3 rams its way onto Nintendo eShop rams later its way. today. The Jesus. Up your ass the game later today. On Nintendo Switch this November. Jesus. Here's a rapid fire mix of first reveals and game updates coming to Nintendo Switch. Make Bikini Bottom your playground. <laughs> is this SpongeBob? <laughs> no, this is Patrick. The silly sea star from SpongeBob SquarePants stars in this physics based sandbox adventure. <laughs> Bikini Bottom is your oyster. Make some hilarious mayhem by performing whimsical skydives, digging up treasure in the dump or even blowing off steam in Mrs. Puff's rage room. Experiment rage with room? items you find, from exploding pies, to paint tubes, to make the world more Patrick-y. And he's not the only familiar face here. Take on comical challenges from SpongeBob, Sandy, Squidward, and more. Buckle up. You turn out the lights. Step into Patrick's shorts and the inner machinations of his mind. When SpongeBob SquarePants, Isn't the Patrick Star Game, <laughs> launches on Nintendo Switch <laughs> October 4th. Patrick it looks fun. That looks, that looks, that looks better than the Goat Game. Shop. Yeah. Ready for your very own personal trainer? Okay, let's get started. Oh yeah, Three, Japan made this. One, two, the latest entry in the fitness boxing series is punching its way onto Nintendo Switch. Newly added features make it. You know what? If I was ever to play one of these, I'd play the Fist of the North Star version. Use That's already out. To jump into an exercise program right after launching the game. Once you're done, oh, this is try going shit. the distance. <laughs> Let's not. Please. Just go to the gym, drills, man. <laughs> like, is it that hard? <laughs> Should go to the park and, and just in shadow box. Boxing, <laughs> you can complete exercise programs while seated for a different training experience. Thirty brand new songs. Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. There are also six instructors, including two new ones. Giant ones. <laughs> Plus, you can change their hairstyles. Let them motivate you as you work toward your goals. I don't like that. <laughs> Let this them motivate you? Three. Jesus. Your personal trainer your launches hurt. on the Nintendo <laughs> Switch system December 5th. This is going to be a match whoa. to remember. Whoa. Whoa. Eight Capcom fighting games are brawling their way onto Nintendo Switch in one collection. Oh. Here's the complete oh. roster of games. Capcom versus SNK. Yes! 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 Capcom versus SNK2. Yes! Yes! Project Justice. Project Justice? Boy! Capcom fighting Evolution. Oh no, that game's not good. <laughs> Street Fighter Alpha 3 Upper. It's okay. Man. Upper? Upper? With, with the CVS 2 characters? Power Stone. Oh! 
And Power Stone. And Power Stone too. <laughs> wait, wait. Each game has its own training mode and is playable online. Online? Yes. You can also visit the museum to enjoy artwork. Yes. And music from each yes. game. Yes. Yes. Capcom Fighting Collection 2 launches on Nintendo Switch next year. <laughs> Plus, <laughs> jump into the fray when Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection Arcade Classics hyper combos its way onto Nintendo Switch September 12th. Digital pre orders begin later today on Nintendo eShop. The physical version of the game launches on Nintendo Switch November 22nd. Soon. Next, please take a look at this. It's okay. みんな強く積み重ねながら生きていく。やがて記憶の雫は魂の記憶に形作る。弓矢にとっては見えるのが正しいこと。Is Omutte. I heard Kiryu there too, right? In the Atelier series, featuring a brand new protagonist. All right, let's see some more headlines. Adventures and allies await in these Nintendo Switch games. HD remasters of the first two Suikoden games are coming to Nintendo Switch in one bundle. Meet and befriend up to 100. Damn it, there goes the value of my physical copies. During your travels, you can strengthen your home base and expand your spheres of influence while fighting for your cause. This collection adds new support features like the ability to speed up combat Thank and God. automate battles with a single button. Suikoden 1 and 2 HD Remastered, Gate Rune, and Dunan Unification Wars launches on Nintendo Switch March 6, 2025. Damn, that is a hyper the delay. The 2D remake of Dragon Quest 3 draws near. After gathering your companions and selecting their vocations, you can now customize their appearance, voice, and more. With the new Monster Wrangler vocation, you can use monster-like abilities to fight enemies and heal allies. There may also be places where you can put monsters to use, but that's for another time. Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D Remake ventures onto Nintendo Switch November 14th. Pre-orders begin later today on Nintendo eShop. Three Castlevania games originally released on the Nintendo DS system. Yes! Yes! And yes! Yes! Rise again yes. in a single collection. Yes! Arcade classic Haunted Castle is also included. Featuring yes. the original and a reimagined version. Yes. Plus, there's a gallery that includes exclusive art and a music I player. willed it! So I willed it into existence last night! The Nintendo Switch system later today! Today! Something you believe in. I think I took it off of the bingo. The award-winning strategy series returns with Sid Meier's Civilization VII. Rule as one of many legendary historical figures, including newly added leaders such as Queen Himiko. Friendship is her strength, and she can initiate. Don't make friends with Ben Franklin. He'll probably try to pork you. <laughs> Expand your territory, establish your empire across the map, and conquer or cooperate with rival civilizations. You can even create Those your are becoming a microwave <laughs> by choosing different civs with each new age. In the modern age, you can evolve your empire into Meiji Japan, known for its scientific strength and military force. Plus, you and your friends can see your kingdoms collide in online or local play. 
Can you create an empire that stands the test of time? Turn the page on a revolutionary new chapter when Sid Meier's Civilization 7 launches on the Nintendo Switch system February 11. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Forge Bonds Transcending Time. Tales of Tales of which one is this out? The 30th anniversary of the Tales of series with a remaster of the action RPG Tales of Grace's F. Alice Slacken. When you the protagonist known as immediately. Asbel right. and Prince Richard. So I heard this one had the best children. battle system, but like just oh, awful so characters and story. The three soon become lifelong friends. Several years have since passed. With their strong friendship and desire to protect their loved ones, the now grown up trio get entangled in a conflict that will determine the fate of the world. This remaster adds enhancements like destination icons and toggling enemy encounters, as well as downloadable content from the original game. Tales of Graces F Remastered launches on Nintendo Switch January 17th. Two adorable adventures, one cozy bundle. Is that my Sims? Yup. <laughs> Wasn't this a Wii game? You ever heard of this? <laughs> nope. I don't really play anything Sims or Sims yeah. related, so. Yeah. Do you, Foxy? <laughs> Do you play my Sims? You want me to get this for you? Yeah, it's what I was saying. No, not at all. <laughs> oh, thank God. Dinosaur. Calling it the cozy bundle. Wanted. Think you've got what it takes to manage this perilous pizzeria? Test your skills. How many games are nerves. there now in this fucking in this franchise? First person horror game. A lot. I think. As the newest oh, employee of Fred Fazbear's <laughs> Pizzeria, <laughs> you'll have I like the one you were watching duties, the other day. Such as the, the new one that came out on yeah. Steam, right? The pizza place yeah, the 2D pixel art one. Yeah. Scores I liked it at first, and then it was like, oh, games. there's multiple endings. I'm like, I don't give a shit. Sounds easy enough, right? Yeah, multiple endings but to me usually means like I get the ending I get and then I go to YouTube and watch the exactly. other ones. <laughs> exactly. Become a Fazbear Entertainment Superstar in Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted 2. Launching on Nintendo Switch this holiday. And if you're looking for more adventures in the Mega Pizza Plex, Help Cassie find her friend and escape the ruins in this free story DLC for Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. Launching on Nintendo Switch this holiday. Let's check out some Nintendo Switch games launching in time for the holidays. Construct houses and more to revive nature and establish prospering villages. Farming. Venture through the enchanting lands of Azuma, but beware, monsters may lie in wait. Yeah! Immerse yourself in the story that started the epic saga in Yakuza Kiwami. Meet Kazuma Kiryu. A Is it Yakuza, just Kiwami a One? What a waste! Clan's patriarch and Haruka, a young girl on the road. Kiwami One. So that is like that is like the most. I don't give a fuck about you know here have a game moved by Sega ever. Not even zero. Began when Yakuza Kiwami launches on Nintendo Switch October Just Kiwami. That's all. Wow. Wow. Thanks, Sega. Showcase. Here, here's your half eaten Snickers. <laughs> oh my God. 
This isn't the Kiwami one's bad, it's just that like it's it's one of the shortest ones and it's it's Zero is by far considered like the bigger feature rich more more favored game. It's it's a very weird choice. It's it's very much like eh fuck it, give him something. I don't know. What's the quickest thing we can dump onto the Switch? Kiwami one, sure, go for it. <laughs> Anyways though, yes, fuck all that. Uh very damn solid. Uh Capcom Fighting Collection 2. CVS 2 online. Alpha 3 upper online. Power Stone online. Uh, oh my god. Uh, Trails in the Sky remake. I'm not bothering playing that game again in the version I have. Uh, yeah, sucks for you. Sucks for Nico and Al, who are all the way in. Just started playing the old ass one. Ha <laughs> Um, that was fun. That was good. That was, that was there's some stuff. I like it because this was like Indie World was me. Yeah. Partner Showcase you. Yeah. Definitely. Well, I mean, I actually liked a lot of that, that yeah. stuff. I, I didn't like anything in Partner Showcase. <laughs> <laughs> well, the indie, like, yeah, the indie stuff actually shit. did look, look really <laughs> solid. Well, the Patrick game looked kind of fun. Yeah, it looked all right. Yeah. So, Omega. Nico's Omega <laughs> Cooked. <laughs> um, yeah, that was actually... The, oh, my God. The Castlevania DS collection, which I think I took off the list. I could probably put it back on. No. <laughs> no cheater cheater where I don't, I don't remember which one it is it's on there somewhere well okay i mean if i'm looking at my my bingo bongo who's your best friend list uh do we get a bingo no no deca police no call of duty yeah no bakuru even yeah it's not even close to a bingo there's like a couple, not even East Ten, and thank God, no, no Xenoblade Warriors. Thank God, <laughs> I don't have to look at that. So, um, no gold. Molten Cold Sun is done. That's <laughs> even if it was on there, I wouldn't have gotten. I would not have gotten a bingo. Even if I put Castlevania back in, it's not a bingo. Um. A couple of Disney related things on Japanese Direct. Is it just Dreamlight Valley and Epic Mickey, or is there anything like actually like new there? Um, oh, I'll take it. I'll check it out later. Anyways, um, are you still <laughs> streaming? Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna set up. Uh, Nadia is gonna gonna be streaming at her YouTube channel. Do you want to shout it out or no? Or do you not want to? No. Good luck finding it. Good luck finding it. <laughs> um, a rhythm game. Cool. Um, oh, oh, for you. Yeah, Wait, for a Rhythm me. Disney game? Yeah. Oh. Rhythm Disney. My Sims playthrough win. Never. Never. <laughs> oh, yeah. Peglin. 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 Peglin for days. Peglin for day. Peglin, Peglin for Peglin for Jesus. <laughs> 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 Pe- <laughs> but... Yeah, I'm uh uh same say I'm actually very very happy with with most of the most of the shit I saw. Like yeah, oh my god. I I I if if that's the if that's the version of Alpha 3 with the CVS2 characters which has been trapped on the PSP for decades. Oh man. Oh man, I'll be happy with that. Anyways, we will see you guys later. Nadia's going to go stream. Um find her. If you if you'd like, we're gonna play. You're gonna be playing. I'm gonna be playing Crypt Custodian. Crypt Custodian. It's an indie game. Indie game. So more indie eleven, um, and then yeah, and then we'll be out after that. So we'll we'll see you guys later. I will not be streaming tonight. There will not be another stream from me tonight. We will be. I will be gone. Um. So yeah. So yeah. Anyways, I will see you guys later. I'll see you tomorrow for my stream. And yeah. See ya. Have a good rest of your day, everyone.